pray that you allow the Spirit of God to come on in the room. Yes. Because we still need the Lord. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. We cannot get along without Him. We thank you for your presence here.
else because we know if it's right with you, everything is going to be all right. We know it's going to be all right. Lord, I ask that you would forgive us, Lord, for all of our sins. Forgive us, Lord. Whatever we've done, Lord, we know that you're forgiven love and kind of God. And we know that you will. We know that you will. We have to be lost in your will. It ain't about me. It ain't about me. It's all about you. Lord, I ask that you look down upon the angel of this house. Continue to build him with more wisdom and knowledge so that he can feed your sheep. He can feed your sheep. Lord, we ask that you would touch everybody under the sound of my voice. Lord, you know what they stand in need of, Lord. If it's deliverance, Lord, you are delivered, Lord. Heal it, Lord. Heal it, Lord. Oh, we know that you can if you just will. I ask that you would touch. Touch everybody. Everybody that is coming to your house, Lord. We come in here just to worship you. To give you the praise, Lord, and to say thank you. Just to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because you're better to us than we can be to ourselves. We could ever be to ourselves. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All we can say is thank you. We don't come back in this morning. Lord, we come to thank you. Thank you. We just don't say thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus.
to all of our visitors that are here with us today. Amen. We thank you for choosing Second Friendship on this Sunday. You could have went anywhere else that you wanted to go, but you
when I'm going to have church, y'all. Mics and stuff, I like to praise God. Sometimes you get out of his timing and the spirit just leaves the place. Amen. Let us get on one accord. Amen. Look at somebody next to you and tell them God did it. Oh, you, don't, you ain't say it like you really know you did it. Look at somebody and tell them God did it.
And then somebody come in the store and just randomly shoot me. Yeah. I mean, we need the Lord. Yeah. We need the Lord. We need the Lord. One of these go get it, y'all. One of these. One of them, okay. We need the Lord. Guess what? When things go like that, everybody know everybody got their little heat, they 45, they 357. Guess what? The devil comes in unaware. Yeah. So you can have it on you. I remember when I was in the funeral industry, we go out sometimes to pick people up. People that got killed, guess where they gun was? Right there on their side. Because they couldn't get to it. But you need to know Jesus. In case you need to leave this world, you can go and wake up with the Lord. Amen. Genesis chapter number three. I want to read Genesis chapter number three. It says, and I'm going to start at verse eight. Why don't you stand? Genesis chapter number three, verse eight. Genesis chapter number three, verse eight. First book of the Bible. If you turn in pages, you way off. First book of the Bible. Genesis chapter number three, chapter three, and we're going to start with verse eight. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in, in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? God bless the hearers and doers of his word. I was, I was uh, studying and I've been praying, 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 because I just had to write some notes this morning on this lesson. And I'm glad we got so many men here today, because I'm going to bother y'all for a little bit. Amen. My aim is to make you mad. Is to make all the men mad. I say it again. My objective. I want all the men. Now they don't want to act like they paying me no attention. You know what I'm but if you stay in here today, my objective to all the men is to make you mad. My subject today is where is Adam? It said, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Where is Adam? Adam's name means man. So if you're keeping notes and you want to write it, you can write, Where is Adam? And where is man? Where is the man? This episode of this story starts out in the beginning of creation. And in creation, God had made all of the animals. He had created the light, the days. And now he makes man. And so he reaches down and gets the dust of the earth. And he blows breath in the dust. And the Bible says that man became a living soul. And after man was here, he, he noticed that while he was here, that he was all alone. So he says, let us make woman. And so in order to make woman, he put Adam to sleep and reached in him and took his rib and made he him one man. And he says, they, it's not good for man to be alone. It's not good for man to be alone. A man needs to have some company. And he says here, he says, now, now that I made man and I made him a helper, which I call one man, I want to assign man to his purpose. 
And man's purpose is found in Genesis chapter number 15. 2 and 15. And God said, And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Now listen what here was going on. Now, I want to tell every man in this room that everyone that's born, every man here, you are created in the image of God. Yes. Now, that does not mean you look like God. And I want to tell you, you are not God. You were created in this image. What does that mean? That God created you to have the same ability to rule. That means that God sent you here to this earth to rule it. To rule the earth, to oversee what God had already made. No, you're not God because John lets me know God is a spirit. You don't even look like God. See, God can walk through walls. God can be everywhere at the same time. See, you're not God. I'm going to get that out of your spirit right now. You are not God. God is God. Now, now here it is. I want to get it. Now, his purpose was, when he brought him into the earth, he says, now, I want you to preside over this garden. Yeah. I want you to dress it and I want you to keep it. Yeah. So that lets me know every man that's born, you have a purpose. Yeah. And the purpose is to oversee the garden that God assigned to you. Yeah. Yeah. Every man has a garden to oversee. Yeah. He has, a, he has a, a vicinity that he rules over. Yeah. Now, because you rule, you don't rule over everywhere. You just rule over what God has put you on. Another man has his God. He rules that God. And you rule your God. Now, now we, we're trying to ask the question, where is Adam? So, so uh, Adam, uh, so he, he gives him his assignment, his purpose, and why he's here. Yeah. And I want I want to know I want to let every man know that is the uh, most important thing in your life. You should be trying to find out what is your purpose in life. Yeah. 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 What am I supposed to do? What am I? Because a person that does not have purpose or a genuine life, they just do anything. See, but when you have purpose, when you have an agenda, when you have a vision for yourself, for your family, guess what? When you have a purpose and a vision for yourself. Uh, you don't need no alarm clock to wake you up tonight. You, 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 you don't need nobody to get you a wife because I got purpose and vision for life. I'm trying to go somewhere. And how many know if you're going to get something in this world, you cannot sit and wait on it to come to you. You got to go after it. And so he says here, uh, you, you are to preside, you are to dress over this garden, and you are to keep it. Verse 16 says, And the Lord commanded man, saying, Of every tree in the garden thou mayest eat free. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Now, he gives man his, his, his purpose, and he gives him, secondly, his parameters. Even though you rule, I, 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 I'm super ruling. Meaning that I, you rule what I created, but guess what? I rule over you. And so God has given man his parameters. Now, now he says in verse 18, And the Lord God said, said It is not good that man should be alone, I will make him a help me for him. Now, this man has his own place he dwells over. He has his parameters from the Lord. And now he's got a woman. Now, how many know that's a lot in itself right there? To, to preside over what you got. To listen to God. And also you have a woman. 
She had a corn on her toe. And every now and then she used to give me a razor blade. And she used to say, just trim it down, son. And then I noticed every now and then the corn would come back. And then I would trim it down again. And I said, Grant, what's going to make the corn stop coming back? She said, you got to get to the seed. In order to heal our community, the seed of it is, yeah. is we got Adam got to show back up. Yeah. Adam, Adam got, and you know what? It, it, it's so bad now. Adam is Adam is so messed up right now, y'all. Adam do more gossiping than me. His nails done better than you. Uh, uh, Adam just fuss all day. Uh, Adam got so many excuses. Somebody shout, where is Adam? He got the big Adam to do this. I'm gonna throw this out. And Adam, and Adam supposed to be a man, but his feelings about this show. The first time you say something to Adam, or check Adam, Adam, the Adam shows us what Adam does. Right? He go run. that we are the problem of the community. We are the problem of the community. We are the problem, we are the problem of the church. We, and, and as men, we, we, we supposed to be able to get along. Women get along with each other, That's but right. men always That's get to right. each other. And then get mad. When when women and get mad when when women 
get to the point where God called them to preach. Uh-huh. No woman called me in the pool. Maybe if you were doing what you were doing, you would be in the pool. There's some hurting men. Yes. There's some hurting men from generation to yes. men that that try that's trying to make the best out of being a man mm-hmm. because they didn't have a man that's in their right. life. That's right. That's right. I want to help somebody today. Yeah. Our younger, younger than young men, I want I want I want to encourage you. If you stand up in your right place, mm-hmm. that God God will shower down blessings on your own lineage. Your yes. Yes. But you be the man. Yes. There needs to be some men, some of these children are killing someone. There needs to be a man talking to him. Yes. See, look, son, this is not the way a man acts. And it's sad. It's so sad that this generation is being locked up like the generation before. And and you see the generation before y'all 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 keep y'all children away from folk like this. That's yeah. right. right. Yeah. Give me in fifty and fifties and calling they son. What's up, my nigga? Get in fifty years old and they got their pants back. Where is Adam, y'all? That's right. Where is Adam? And so Adam here. And so because of this, Adam allowed this to go on. But see, when you don't, when you don't stand and see the way you're supposed to be as Adam ruling over your guard, you create problems. That's right. Yeah. And I want to tell all our men in this day, it's time to stand up, it's time to take your rightful place. Our men of color. If you haven't noticed, we are becoming secondary. Yeah. Yeah. Black women are, are, are passing us, and white men, yeah. white men, white women are passing us, and we yeah. just sit and complain. And guess what? It's only so many times you can say, so keep that story, the, the man holding me down. Yeah. Am I right, brother? Yeah. And I be want to ask, what man are you talking about? Yeah. Well, white man, I mean, like, guess what? I, I know, I know people that's older than all of us in here. When the white man really for say what you say, hold them down, hold them down, but they made it. Yeah. 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 They made it, and and I tell you now, it ain't near about bad as it used to be. Yeah. The only thing holding you down is you won't stand up and be a man. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you're a man, guess what? If a, a man, if he make a bill, he's going to pay it. Uh-huh. If, it's a, if it's a river he got to cross, he's going to cross. Yeah. If it's a building he got to get over, he's going to find a way. Yeah. There should be no excuses when it comes down to a man. That's right. And guess what? I tell you, women, women may do it, and I take, I take my hat off to women. But I never believe that God intended for women to work. If you work and I take my hat off to you, but I never believed God intended because it ain't him. She was to help him in everything he was doing. So you want to twist the scripture up and say, but women had to do, I'm on the, but women had to do what they had to do. But it's time for me, it's time for me, me and I'm leaving. Get you some positive stuff to listen to. Get get yourself back in line. Encourage yourself. Tell yourself you will do it. And do it. Stop playing. If you ain't really in love with a woman, don't tell her you're in love. I think a woman would rather you tell her, tell her you just been kicking a little while than you tell her you don't. Am I right, John? So he said it's you. The man and the man say that the woman whom thou, listen, 
Now I'm going. He says, God came looking for him. And not only man had not lived up to his responsibility, yeah. man tried to shift the blame. Yeah. Verse 12 says, and man said to the and man said to God, the woman whom you gave me. The one that you gave me, she is the one that did wrong. But in the beginning, I told you, when the wrong was done, guess who God came looking for? And he tried to say, well, if it hadn't been for that woman, that woman you gave me, things would have done been like this. And the Lord God said unto the woman, what is it that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And you know how it goes. God goes down and gives punishment to all that. But most of all, because of Adam's sin, he messed his garden. He put a curse on his garden because he wouldn't take care of it. And that curse that was put upon his garden was death. Before Adam sinned, if he would have took care of his garden, there would have been no more death in the right. And I come to tell you today, because you're not taking care of your garden, look at it, there's been death in your garden. Yeah. I better shout, I'm in high grade. Yeah. Yeah. So Adam needs to repent, and the Lord is still looking for you. Yeah. Just like he was looking for Adam. Yeah. Just like he was looking for Adam. You can do it, bro. Because you are a, you are the, you are the head and not the tail. You are not, you are not, you are not beneath, you are above. Stick your head up and, and just, 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 just pick up the pieces from where you left. These children need you. The family needs you. Let's pray right now. So many distractions up in front of man. And so many distractions. Even when a good word is coming forth, distractions are coming. Yeah, yeah. But I know we're saved. Yeah. We're full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Can't nobody tell me we're not doing wrong. Yeah. But there comes a time when you. Well, you know deep down inside what you need to do. Father, as we come to you this morning right now, we need our men. We need our men to show up. Too many have gone MIA. Too many have gone missing. Too many on spiritual milk cartons. Master, we need you to touch their hearts, Master. Killing is every day. Master, I was reading one day, 59 people got shot in one day in Chicago, Illinois. And that was by somebody, children that had to shoot. Somebody that needed a man in their life to guide and to lead them. Have mercy on all of us. Have mercy on all of us. Somebody's repenting right now, Master. And I know you hear a repentant prayer, Master. Hear our prayers right now, Master. Hear our prayers. Hear our prayers, Master. In Jesus' name, we pray. Get out your feelings. Get on your feet. Get out your feelings. And get out your feet. Get on your feet. It's time to put on your big boy clothes.
we need the Lord to step in. Yes, yes. We need the Lord to step in. All right. I, I feel, I pray for our kids, all our kids every day. It's terrible when our children are here, y'all. Some parents send your child to school, you don't even know if they're going to come back. Church, all that stuff, all over. That's right. That's it. That's it. Well, you know, we go to the grocery store and get to come back home. That's right. That's right. We need to trust the Lord. Yes. He brought our people through slavery. Yes. They would have never intended for us to be free. Yes. Praying and singing, y'all. You know? One day, Abraham Lincoln thought he was doing it to win a war. No, he was doing it because God told him. Yes. Nobody wants to give God credit. Well, he done it so they can win the war. No, God made the war come because he knew he was going to need the black folk to help him win. And that's how he was going to free him. Everything that God did, God did. Man gets no credit. No we stand on our feet so we go home, y'all. I'm sorry to keep it. We've been out a long time ago. God, we love you. Yes, yes. We lift your name and yes. Protect each and every one of us. Let our hands stand up. So you want to have to ask where we are because we'll be Johnny on the spot. Amen. We give your name, praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.